Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas, I'm your host, and I'm here with... TNT Dynamite, the explosive one, Jonas, I'm the man on the stick. He is so sticky, I can barely even touch him. Wow. <laughs> okay, well, uh, yeah, we're playing Monster Hunter. You threw me off... <laughs> Off my game there a little bit with that one. <laughs> Every so often, I get you. Every so often. <laughs> Holy TNT crap. Dynamite underscore Crazy Town. Yes, uh, <laughs> yeah, I stream every, every day. Every day. Every From, day? Yeah, yeah, like, is that like a thing now? Yeah, basically. Because, I mean, I come home, I play I play video games. Oh, stuff. so you're like, I might as well just let it stream. Yeah, so I've just been streaming. Uh, every day at, like, 9 o'clock, Twitch TV. I don't know if I said that on the other videos. I don't think I ever give a I mean, time. I think everybody knows how to get to Twitch. You yeah. just go to Twitch, and then you search your username. Yeah, but at the time. like. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, they can add you, and then it gives you notifications. It'll, it, it, I, I have a... I have a uh, a video that kind of teases the time my Twitch anyway that I made, but we'll, we'll get on that. Oh, snoots. Oh, snoots. Hey, that's the guy you can wear his head. TNT underscore crazy town. I do have this man's head. Dude, gonna... I hope you get like a giant following. Because I think like you streaming would be very entertaining if you had like an audience to entertain. Uh, well, thanks, Jonas. I think the same thing about my Delph. Yeah, like, when you're just sitting there by yourself, it's kind of hard to entertain nobody. But then, like, when people pop in, I could imagine. I could yeah, imagine. dude, I would be entertaining to people if there were people to entertain. I can be an entertain. We both can be entertaining individuals when the entertainment strikes us. Yeah, right? Like, when there's an audience to entertain. These boys are easy, though, aren't they? These are super easy boys, but I just wanted to beat up on some bird wyvern. Can I do that? No. These are considered bird wyverns. Oh, well. Or wyverns, I'm sorry. I mean, I'm a big fan of wyverns. How do you, you, you know what a wyvern is? Uh, yeah, I used to play magic. Oh, there it is, like a little mini dragon. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's like magic taught me a lot of words. <laughs> oh, how useful have those words been for you in I life? I do use like... kismet. Okay. Kismet, I do use. I remember cash. Was yeah. one that I learned from magic because yeah, I didn't know what a catch was. Mana. <laughs> yeah, but that one you don't really use too often no. unless you're what in other, mixed company. Uh, oh, illusions of grandeur. Oh no, I knew that one. I'm trying to think. I mean, I was like a teenager. Well, I didn't get into magic until. But, high but school. I guess. But here's the thing. The magic card was called illusions of grandeur, but I think how what the actual statement that you use is is delusions. Of grandeur. Well, yeah, delusions mean uh, you're crazy. Illusions means it could possibly happen, which is, you know, kind of keeping in turn with the old magic the gathering. Yeah, I like to say, yeah, when I talk, when I when I use it in real life, I always use illusions of grandeur because, like, it's like my hopes and dreams that where I want to be, and uh, and they're very, very, very big, big, big plans. And I'm like, okay, let me like just get the first step done first before I have those illusions of grandeur. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because an illusion is this, or a delusion is this, uh, an illusion that is perverted, right? Isn't that right? I guess you, a delusion is like an unrealistic fantasy. Exactly. Like, okay, here, how about this one? Do you say for all intensive purposes or for all intents and purposes? It's intents and purposes. All right. Fair and enough. it's like I, when you say I, I could care less, it's I couldn't care less. Yeah. Because if you're saying I could care less, you're really saying that you care. And that you could care less about it. Dude, I could care I less. I couldn't care less means you don't care and you, you there's no way you could care any less about it. I, there's, I couldn't care less. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I don't like that. It's, it's, it's an extra syllable. Yeah, you, but it's, it's who's funny because like, you can say it either way. You could say intensive purposes and people know what you mean. You could yeah. say could care less and people know what you're, what you're saying. I still get mad at... Uh, Ch chomping at the bit. I get mad at that one. I did say that for a long time. I get mad at that one to this day. Uh, well, there was another and it's song. so lame because nobody even uses chomping at, at the bit or champing at the bit for that matter. Yeah, I've heard it occasionally. It's champing though, everybody. It's champing. It's what is, what horses is, what is champ. the definition of champing? Champing is what a horse does to like a bridle because they have a different mouth than we have. Uh, Oh. It's a horse terminology. Oh, that's where it comes from. Yeah. Well, who else has a bit in their mouth? Oh, I got you. <laughs> to bite or grind upon impatiently, the horses champed oats. 
There's some other people that put bits in their mouth, but that's a whole different Whoa. That's a whole, that's whoa, a whole different whoa, story. <laughs> whoa. Champing at the bit. <laughs> you would know, wouldn't you? <laughs> Facts. <laughs> a little nasty. <laughs> that's a Raven Simone, Jonas. <laughs> what? That's a Raven Simone. Oh, nasty. Nasty. That's so Raven. She has a new show, dude. Does she really? Yeah. Now it's her kids that have the power, I guess. She Wait, has... she had powers? Yeah, that's so Raven. She could see into the future. She would see like a bit. Of... You've never watched that so Raven. I, well, I guess not. <laughs> I can't even believe you, John. I can't it's, believe that you know all this about it. This is right in your wheelhouse. No, it is not. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a teenage girl who could see into the future is in my wheelhouse. All right, so in That's So Raven, she could see a bit of the future, but it would always be without context. So she would be like, oh, snap, I know this is about to happen. We got to do something to stop this, or we can maybe try to change it. Or it might be good. Yeah, but it would always be, like, out of context. It would always, it would be trickery, and then it would be, you know, hilarity would ensue when what you thought was going to happen isn't quite what happened. Right, it shows, like, the principal of the school laying on the floor unconscious, and you're like, oh, my God, we got to save him. And what, and what it really is is they're, like, they're, like, doing a game exactly and it, it's kind of it does it, i mean i don't know if it teaches kids necessarily but it does kind of show like the um, the importance of context right that makes sense but, so it's uh, kind of like a uh, final destination without real death i mean no <laughs> no <laughs> not like that at all all right well there's, both, there's, pre <laughs> there's premonitions in both so I there, okay there are premonitions yes but no no death <laughs> All right, fair. No, no, even thoughts or ideas of death. Yeah. Nobody dies on the Disney Channel, Jonas. Yeah. So now her souls. <laughs> now her kids have the power. Only their souls inside in real life die. <laughs> yeah, whatever. It sure ain't their wallets. Yep. I watched a couple episodes of the new That So Raven, Jonas. It's called uh, I don't know. Raven, so you. No, it's not. <laughs> that would be a good idea, but no. <laughs> Um, but it, it's 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 not a bad show, I guess. But it's not a good show. Okay. Well, uh, I would think a grown a man. Excuse me. Should, shouldn't uh, shouldn't excuse be me into teenage girl shows. It's not a teenage. Raven Simone is forty seven. What are you talking? <laughs> <laughs> this, what's the show on Fox? No, okay. Well, the show is not on Fox, Jonas. It's on the Disney Channel. Right. Which how? What was the age range of Disney? Well, I don't like the fact that you just threw girls in there. Like girls are a part of the inherently Disney Channel. There's twelve year old boys too. All right. Yep, them too. You know what, Jonas? Fine. I, I watched a couple episodes. It was all right. It yeah, wasn't great. I used to really like on the Disney Channel when I was a kid. And I didn't have the Disney Channel, but they'd give like the free preview. Kids Incorporated. Wow. Kids Incorporated. <laughs> it sounds like you just made it up. <laughs> it sounds just like you could have just made that up on the spot. I know, that's it. The song, the jingle sounded made up. <laughs> The name <laughs> sounded made up. Uh, let's see. Kids Incorporated was Americans' children's television program. is largely, largely a youth-oriented program with musical performances as an integral part of every episode. Oh, it was like kids in living color. Yeah, I guess It was so. sketch yeah. comedy and musical performances yeah, for kids. It? Like, I don't remember what even happened on it. Like, Nothing, because it plot. doesn't exist. Okay. The show revolves on a group of children and teenagers who performed in their own rock group, Kids Incorporated. Oh, there was they a plot. They struggled to deal with issues ranging from crushes to peer pressure to child abuse while performing regularly what? at local former music club called The Palace, which was really called The Palace, but the A was burned out and never replaced. The action took place in abstract, stagey sets, and the plots involved many fantasy elements, such as the group meeting a robot, a runaway princess. The group meeting a robot? A wise-cracking bicycle. Runaway princess? A wise-cracking bicycle. In addition to their performances on stage, group would break into song when they were off stage. Oh, this is awful. It, oh, yeah. <laughs> it was like in the 80s, dude. It was bad. Like, so meeting a robot was like a... a Hip thing Hell up. yeah, dude. In the 80s, I wish I could have met a robot. It dude. was like meeting Ghost Rider. <laughs> the, 
Ghost Rider was different. He was the ghost of a slave. I, and I, I never knew that until you brought that up on the episode. That was interesting. Mm-hmm. I'd heard that a long time ago. But yeah, yeah Kids Incorporated you knows. There you go. Oh, it was trash, dude. Dude, I and have it would be like, no K- idea. I D S. I would play the song, but we Disney would copyright match that so fast. I don't know. They still haven't contacted me about me using TNT, D-I-N-O, M-I-G-H-T, so. Yeah, very true, I guess. I think we might be safe. Yeah. I don't know let's, if anybody's going to sue Let's see it. if I can find the Kids Incorporated theme song and play it and see if this video gets copied. Oh, man. I don't think it would translate well over video, but you are free to do whatever on your platform that you want to do, Jonas. <laughs> Here we go. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, God. This is bad. I'm sure it's going to play a commercial to start out with, so that would be great. I can't <laughs> wait for that to happen and for you to pull the phone away from the microphone. No, nah, dude. I got it. Don't worry. <laughs> no, nah, dude. I'm, yeah. <laughs> it's fine. It's you know. Okay, sounds great. I'm sure it's great over the microphone. I just want to let you know how good an idea I think this is. Is that in English? God dang it! I remember this crap. Is that Jennifer Love Hewitt? I hope so. If any, if we're lucky. The world could only be so fortunate. That was so bad. Why, Why did, did I like that as I a kid? I don't know, Jonas. You kids like dumb things. Yes, they do. It's one of the person's name was Love Hewitt, and I think it was Jennifer Love Hewitt. That may be. I was mean, she a Disney he, Channel girl. Is it so would like a thousand people? Britney Spears was. Oh yeah, I knew we that. know. We Aguilera. know Justin Timberlake was. It's yeah. kind of like uh, there's always been like one of those kid talent farms that has existed. It's kind of crazy, it's man. It's weird, yeah. Because it, it was the Disney Channel back in the day, and now it's the Disney Channel, I would guess, now. And then like Nickelodeon, when they used to do a lot more of their live action stuff, like there's definitely some kids off of there. Amanda Bynes came from uh, Nickelodeon. Uh, Nickelodeon. Oh, uh, yeah, she was on She was on Disney. That was actually Jennifer Love Hewitt. Yeah. I was watching her as a child and didn't even know it. Well, I don't like the way that sounds, Jonas. You might want to. I was re- a child as well. I want you to rephrase that. If when I was a child and she was a child, I watched her on the show. She was on the Disney Channel. <laughs> yeah, Miley Cyrus was a Disney girl. Yep, 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 yep. Uh, Raven Simone. Yeah. She was on the Cosby show. Too. Oh, yeah, that's true. That's where so I she knew is, her. Oh, my gosh. She's been in child acting for, like, all her life. She was literally, like, a super young. She was on the Cosby show as, like, a four-year-old kid or something. Wasn't she? I think so. She was, yeah, like, yeah, a very, was, very little kid. She was the youngest the youngest of the daughters. Well, because no, there she was, was Rudy. Because the there daughter. was just... Rudy was the youngest for a while. I don't even remember how Raven Simone came into the Cosby show. Because she I think wasn't she, there from the She start. was uh, one of the... One of... Uh, Bill Cosby's daughter's daughter. Oh, so she was the granddaughter they brought yeah, in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because the one that got old, the Le- Lisa... Turtle. Lisa somebody. Simpson. It's a real name. She was the oldest Cosby daughter, and then, yeah, so I think she had the kid, and then Raven was the kid. Yep. Yeah, I used to love that show. I used to love the Cosby show back in the day, dude. That was a great show. But, yeah, uh, I don't know, man. I don't know how I would feel if I was, like, a child actor. Because it be seems- rich. It seems like they always get a little effed up. Like being oh. a child actor just seems to like f you up. Well, yeah, up because a you're bit. you're put into like adult situations at a very young age sometimes, or you're around a lot of people, or you're enabled, and then like then you're not famous and no one cares about you anymore. And Does it ruin like, your grounding? I guess. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, like you know, and it's or you yeah or you could get all entitled and never, nobody wants to work with you, and then you get shunned, and then like <laughs> and then you're like, oh wow. I would just think that it more you, you're not as associated with just like normalcy or like I don't know that after your, view, your view of uh, the world is distorted. Yes, that is that is one thing. All of yeah. that other mental illness stuff that's person to person. Well, but. and it's also uh, it well, like your life is filled with yes men. So then when people start telling you no. Well, I don't know. I kind of feel like parents probably still, at least in some capacity, try yeah. to keep a hold of their kids. Well, but. and I know, you know, some of them, like, the parents do that, and they, like, take the kids' money. <laughs> I mean, uh, it, the kids shouldn't be in charge of their money. Well, right, but their parents should also hold that money for their child when they get old. They shouldn't blow it all. Oh, well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> 
Like, if you worked your A off as a kid and then you turn 18 and your parents found out your parents blew all your money. <laughs> Effing mad, dude. <laughs> then when you do sue your parents and they don't got money to give to you anyway, so it don't matter. I don't think I would ever sue my mom. <laughs> no, but you hear about that that stuff happening. Oh, uh, yeah. But then, like, Not if they spend all your you money, you, you know they ain't got money to give you. What, they got, like, a secret fund with all other money that ain't yours? Like, they spent your money because they didn't have their own. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's, <laughs> they aren't like, we're making a million dollars ourselves. We're going to spend our kids' money instead. Like, sounds, that ain't what happens. Sounds like you're talking from personal experience I don't, here I a mean, little where bit. Would I, yeah, I was a child actor. Did that guy come back to life? No, he's a sleepy boy. No, but like you were just fighting other guys. Did you start a new fight or did he just evolve? No, he didn't evolve. Wow, you really... You didn't <laughs> no, I'm fighting. A, it's a bunch of guys. There's like five different bird wyvern I have to fight. Oh, I only saw the two. Yeah, I fought those two and then, I, then another one came out and then we like hung out and like trapped them. Jonas, look. Bant. Yeah, I, I'm just wondering what's going on in the game, dude. <laughs> I was looking up Kids Incorporated, dude. I was, I was yeah, Jonas reliving phrasing. my childhood. Phrasing, isn't that, by the way? Whatever, dude. Get out of here phrasing. <laughs> Is that the end of the episode? <laughs> yes. All right. That's all time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe if you've already done that. Go watch TNT Dynamite on Twitch. TNT Dynamite, M-I-G-H-T underscore Crazy Town. But for Jones, TNT Dynamite. We'll catch you on the next one. We are fireworks. We are out.